My name is Miriam Sachs. I'm from Northeast Philadelphia. I just graduated from Science Leadership Academy and I will be going to Drexel in the fall. My goal for PSTV is to learn more about TV production while I'm here. So I have two ideas going forward on videos I can make. I was thinking about trying something with the green screen where the visuals in the background would have to do with what the person is talking about and I shared that with the group today and I was also thinking about a video that might go inside the school district building because I feel like a lot of people just think of 440 and they don't really know what's inside like how PSTV is down here so maybe a PSA or an ad about the school district building and what's here. So today we started out by mind mapping and we watched some videos to learn how to do that and then we took big pieces of paper and switched off on ideas on four different topics for videos that we're going to make later. The mind mapping was very productive because we came up with so many concepts that there's no way to make all of them but it will give us some ideas as to what films and series that we'll actually be producing. And then we were learning about screenwriting later, and we each were writing but also learning, so we were learning by doing, and everyone was sharing um, what they wrote, so it wasn't necessarily that um, some were better, they were all like working drafts, and we all just shared uh, it wasn't necessarily if someone just felt like theirs were ready, it was, but if they didn't feel ready at all, we just skipped and then came back. So this is the last day of the first week of my PSTV internship. I've met a group of multi-talented people and we're starting to really get to know each other as we learn more about the TV station and we started to figure out what we're going to make to show on TV. Um, we've started to divide into actual teams based on specific uh, series concepts so that we can get towards producing some uh, TV shows. So as an intern here at PSTV, I am going to be producing a TV show. The name of the show I'm working on is Advice from Artists. It will be four episodes long, about ten minutes each and it will feature performing artists. Each one will have a different type of artist, singer, dancer, etc. And they'll perform in front of the camera explaining to the audience what they're doing. And the target audience is middle through high school students, especially ones that are just starting out or they're curious about trying this art form themselves. Um, and hopefully watching an artist give them a tutorial and give some tips will boost their confidence. And I will be doing an episode on spoken word poetry since I performed in high school both in groups and as an individual. So week two, day two, we learned how to coil wires. I'm going to take it in my hand, bring it around without forcing it, and then I'm going to go under over and just keep looping it in the opposite direction that's it got a nice coiled wire so today we had our second screenwriting workshop and personally I feel comfort comfortable with the formatting of scripts since I had to write them for my video class but I'm realizing I have a lot to learn as far as structure so not like how to write like the headers and that part I understand more of where does my plot separate into act one, act two, act three and it's a new learning experience for me especially because we're trying to write feature length screenplays and I've only done short films so we've been going over the impact character, the protagonist, the antagonist, the 
uh, inciting incident that's going to move the plot along and developing our own scripts. My script is going to be a horror story, a ghost story, and I just need to figure out how to use that genre and implement these techniques into it. So today, to end week two, we went to see WHIY and visit their studios. It was interesting for me because I grew up watching PBS cartoons and I still watch NewsHour and Nova and a lot of the shows on that channel. Um, I knew that they licensed a lot of the cartoons from other uh, production places, but I didn't realize how much of the new shows and their other content are filmed elsewhere, even if it's by then, mostly the radio shows and editing took place there, but they had the capability to film there. I was also surprised, like, when they do fundraising, it always looks like they're in a really big room, but when we saw the space there, it was actually pretty small, so I was impressed on how they could, like, use minimal space to really capture something larger. And it was interesting to see uh, what, what they used to film, because their equipment is older but it's kind of like walking back in time though at the same time like it'd be nice if they could afford new equipment but they're uh publicly funded but it was interesting to see like what used to be used at the same time to begin week three we started going over how to use the studio space and this control room i've done a combined switcher slash directing role uh, with live stream production before, um, but the terminology was different. I think that was the biggest thing for me. It's just like remembering what to say because this is more detailed. Although at the same time, even though this equipment looks huge and there's a lot here, and what I use is probably less than the size of just this, um, it wasn't that hard because it's still the free button to switch between three cameras. It's not that much different. It was mostly how I talked to the different roles since it's divided up more, since there's more technology to be working with than what I've worked with in the past, but it was a good experience and I just need to keep practicing. Today is Tuesday during week three of the internship. Today we came back to our TV series, Advice uh, from Artists, and we started to make a storyboard of our show and come up with some questions to ask the performers. And we basically have the structure of our show now. We'll have the performer walk in, pass the logo uh, of PSTV, have an intro, have them explain their performance, and then have a clip of them performing. And it's pretty uh, simple how we're going to do it. It's mostly the meat of the uh, show is going to be the explanations the performers give. So for Wednesday, a week free, we had another screenwriting workshop. This time we went back and reviewed character descriptions, which was good because it let us uh, flush out our characters a little more, make the, them more descriptive as far as like how they physically look and their motivations. Uh, and I was able to go back to mine, add a few sentences, make them more detailed. And then we started to um, continue our actual script writing, write the inciting incident. I think my story is making progress and I like that uh, Tony is encouraging us to add details. So like I had one part of my script where it's like, the character got an email and he's like, well, what's the email? And it really did boost the scene to like make that email something. Okay, so to finish off week three, we started filming one of our TV shows using these studio cameras, and I was on camera, and it was a hilarious show. You gotta tune in to Only in Philly. We were interviewing people about Philly food and Philly slang, and trying not to laugh while we were back here on camera. You know, quiet on set, but the show was so funny. People were giving these like really random yet at the same time thought out responses about Philly food and slang, and it was just really fun. We were in here for like three hours, but it didn't feel like three hours once we got started. It was just a really fun time and a great show. And tune in when it's on PSTV. So today was Monday of week four. We started production on our TV show, Advice from Artists. 
Today we interviewed a rapper and a dancer. One, the dancer was in this space uh, doing their thing, and then we had the rapper in a recording booth back there. And it went pretty well. The only problem is we were having trouble with our audio channels and trying to make sure things weren't just coming in on the left ear. It took a while to figure it out. Uh, but except for that, the production itself went really well. Uh, we were able to get all our questions out and we finished two videos in a little less than three hours. So we're in the middle of week five and we finished our tutorials. So our series advice uh, from artists, we ended up having five episodes. One is a blooper reel, or a gag reel, that's two minutes of laughter. And the other episodes turned out really well. And now, since we have a few days left, we're going to make just a fun ad for PSCV where uh, one of our group mates is going to use a bunch of accents and uh, different hats and be uh, clones of himself running the studio, so that should be fun. And it's a quick little video of use to uh, use up the rest of the time during the internship. So we've just finished week five, and we started working on a new project where Game Pier was playing a bunch of different characters, each with a different voice and a different hat. Uh, Ricardo brought a bunch of fedoras for him to wear and some wigs. And we filmed within two hours, which was nice. And then we lost track of time editing because it was really funny because the gag reel was longer than the film itself. And we were just like getting through it and like really enjoying the process of making this comedic short film. And next week we'll finish it up and that'll be the last week of the internship. So we made it to the final week of the PSDV internship. It was definitely a worthwhile experience. It was my first time really having a job focused on a field that I would consider working in in the future. I'm more steered towards filmmaking, but it was interesting working at a TV station since there's a lot of crossover with video. And it made me appreciate how much I already know, but at the same time, I have a lot to learn. Um, it was cool to meet people who knew uh, applications and techniques that I have yet to learn and to show that someone my age can know that uh, type of knowledge and just um, inspired me to keep pushing myself to learn more. And also just, this was a lot of fun, especially our last uh, project since our, our group got our work done early we made like a fun little comedic short film and laughed so much and it was so much fun to do. And I really enjoyed this experience, and I would recommend it to high schoolers who are considering working. Oh, wow,